Hello and welcome back. So now after discussing implicit type, we are going to go and discuss about auto property concept. Keep it in mind, all these concepts are going to go and help us understand link you. So now we will see auto property concept. If you consider the employee class that we defined some time back in the earlier demonstration, we have got a private variable number and name and we have a property manipulating on top of it that is number and name again. Now quick question I have you for you is why do we use property concept? So do we use this property? We use property concept so that we can manipulate the private member. We can change the content. We can validate the content before setting it to the private member itself. A very normal concept of encapsulation that we use the property for. Earlier like in C, C++ we obviously used to write down concept like getters and setters functions. Same thing we continue doing in case of Java as well. So properties are normally maybe uh, implementation of encapsulation in case of .NET in general. But then many number of times you must have noticed people do not actually go and modify the content like before setting and people do not even change it for the display purpose in getter. They only write down getter and setter to set the value and get the value. So if at all you are not leveraging property for what it is meant for, then why to even write down a property? Why not just make the member itself as public? Obviously, then that would be a defeat to a OOP pillar like encapsulation. If you emit any kind of a variable in a public manner, what will happen is anybody can set any value, anybody can get the value. And then there won't be any kind of a control over that value that we have. So we require a solution. What's the solution then? Solution will be we want to have a property but at the same time we do not want to define it. Then comes the solution. What we do is let's comment this extra code. If you noticed I have just commented around this 5 and 6 which means 12 total line number of lines of code. So one line for defining a private member, five lines of code specifically for, it's not five lines, yeah, five lines of code specifically for getters and setters. So total six lines of code for one property, total 12 lines of code for all the properties. I have just commented. Then let's quickly write down the property. So if at all we go for writing property, now a new way comes up, that is, it's called auto property. So if I define property in this manner now, that is integer type number and string type name. And we have got getter setter semicolon semicolon. What is it that is going to go and happen now? We, I did not define here a private member. So public property is there called as number and name. And these properties or against these lines, compiler is going to go and write down properties for us called as get number, set number, get name, set name, internally functions. And then compiler itself is going to go and generate couple of private members as well for you. So very important point to note here. That is compiler is taking an initiative to generate the private member for you. Do I know the private member? You will not be able to use the private member. However, you can very well find the private member inside the MSIL. Can we see that? Yes. Let me show you that. Let me build the solution first. Compiler has worked against these auto properties. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to our project. This is the exe which contains MSI right now. Let's open .NET command prompt. And on .NET command prompt, I'm going to use ILDASM, paste the path of the exe. And now if you guys notice that under MSIL, under EMP, you'll find out we have got get number and get name as two functions and set number set name as other two functions, which means Without we defining a property, somebody has already defined a property that is compiler. But then properties work on private members. We know that. 
and then here we did not define any private member so if you notice there are two private fields over here one is private integer and one is private string and then name of these fields is basically like angular bracket name k underscore backing field and angular bracket number k underscore backing field these are the names of your private member right now can i use those in my code absolutely no because those are defined by compiler not us we do not have control over it and moreover important point to note is can i do validation can i do manipulation for the for the content absolutely no you cannot do that because if you wish to do that then you are free to write down normal property concept here you have just used a compiler so that compiler can help you generate that code piece of code but then what if i wish to go and manipulate and validate them then you are free to write down normal property just like the way we used as you can see in the tooltip right now so nobody has taken a way of writing normal property from you or away from you so this exists so that we can quickly finish writing a property without you concerning or showing a concern for a private member can i add this control like maybe let's say read only or write only behavior so yes you can always define let's say suppose a private get or you can always define over here suppose a private set when you specify private set which means you will be able to set the value for number only within the premises of class outside the class only get is allowed which means it's more like a read only kind of a property right so such things such beautiful things are actually offered by microsoft using c# 3.0 and this concept of writing such kind of a shorten properties is normally known as implicit types implicit properties in case of uh, or auto properties in case of dotnet uh, 3.0 onwards 3.5 onwards so this concept how do i can i can i use this yes you can define here emp equal to new employee and you can very well go for emp equal to sorry emp dot number this is integer property you can assign a value and emp dot name equal to some value maybe let's say test over here and then one can very well print on the console all the values so you can print now number so i'm just going to use string format number is equal to bracket zero I'll define name is equal to bracket one, and then here comes emp dot number, and here comes emp dot name then, and then finally we will just run on and print on console. So run the code, and you can notice that we have got number and name printed, which means we can use the property just like normally we have been using properties. only thing the effort for writing 12 lines of code is all gone and within two lines we can just finish it however if you the drawback is you don't have control over private member and you do not have any kind of a way to write down the code for validation manipulation doesn't matter because the old way is still there and if you wish to continue writing the old way then that's always good so that is that will bring us to end of this discussion which is again for implicit property or auto property